Hi guys, it's Christy. So today I'm going to be doing a bookish haul. Uh, this is my first haul video and I'm so excited. I've been accumulating these goodies for the past couple of months and so I've just been saving them uh, for this video so I could share them with you all um, before I start using them. And so I'm very excited to be filming this. So I... I like to go to Goodwill a lot and anytime I'm there I definitely check out the book section just to see if they have any hidden gems because you never know and I actually found um, this one the help and this has been definitely been on my TBR for a while um, I've definitely wanted to because I haven't even seen the movie and I've definitely wanted to read the book because I hear that they're both awesome uh, but I wanted to read the book first first before I saw the movie so I'm very excited about this. I will be reading it soon. So another book that I bought used actually that's why it's so dirty. I really need to clean it um, but it's called The Good Body. It's got kind of a risque cover I know but um, I actually read this book back in college and uh, for a uh, persuasive essay writing class and it was very body positive and just um, about building confidence in women and so and it's very thin you know a nice easy read so I was anxious to pick it back up again and you know maybe just get a little boost of inspiration. Uh, the next book that I picked up is Brightly Burning by Alexa Dunn. She is an author tuber that I've been following um, since I believe the beginning of this year and this is her debut novel. Um, the, I mean, come on, the cover is just beautiful. Like, look at that cover. I really like how Alexa has like a purple theme. So from what I know about this book, it is a retelling of Jane Eyre, but set in space. So already I was hooked just by the concept. And so I can't wait to read this. I've heard good things about it. Um, I really love when Alexa talks about it on her channel. It always gets me really interested to read it. So I'm really happy that I finally have a copy of my own and that I get to read it. So speaking of the Bronte sisters, this is a classic that I noted recently on one of my social media channels that I have not read yet and I was so looking forward to. And so I finally picked up my own copy and it is Wuthering Heights. So I'm really excited about this. Uh, I was looking for an edition that had a really nice cover and I was told that the Penguin Edition cloth bound books are kind of hard to read because they're um, stiff and then when you go to open them it's like you don't want to break the binding and stuff. So uh, this was nice because it was a paperback and so this will be really easy to read and it's pretty, you know, it's going to look really pretty on my shelf too. So uh, really excited about this. Oh my gosh, I have heard the most beautiful quotes from Wuthering Heights and I just can't believe that I've never read it before. I've read so many of those other classic stories, you know, Jane Eyre and Pride and Prejudice. Like I've read most of the, the classic classics, at least classic romances. And so, um, yeah, I just couldn't believe I hadn't read this yet. So this will definitely be read very soon. This, this next one is kind of funny because I saw it and I was wondering to myself if I already had it or not. I actually have most of Jane Austen's books already, but there are a few that I'm missing. And so when I saw this one, I was immediately pulled to it and I couldn't remember if I had it or not. So I just went ahead and got it anyway. And it is persuasion and yes I did already have it but it's okay because this cover is way more beautiful than the one that I had so I'm happy to have it anyway and somehow surprisingly I guess the font type is um, smaller but it seems a lot thinner than the one that I have which is nice because I love thin books so I guess it like tricks me into thinking that it's like somehow quicker and easier to read or something maybe that's like something people should do more often. I don't know. So I'm very excited about this and I love that I was putting these three books together and like look how pretty. I've got this like nice little purpley theme. Like how beautiful. So those are all the books that I picked up um, and then I got some just like random bookish goodies. Some people might think this makes me sort of dorky but let me just say I love children's books. Like I am so inspired by children's books. You know, uh, Shel Silverstein, Winnie the Pooh. Um, I mean, so many classics come to mind. But one of my favorites is Dr. Seuss, and I just love I I just love children's books that have 
you know, universal themes behind them. And so when I saw these Dr. Seuss inspired pencils, I was super excited. So this first one is inspired by, and I guess I could open them and kind of like, they're so cute. Oh, and the erasers are like different colors. Hold on. These, this set is inspired by, oh, the places you'll go. And they're so cute. I don't even want to use them. I just want to keep them on display somewhere. My pencil display collection. So that was the first one. And then there was another set that I had to get because I saw Horton from Horton Here's a Who. And I, and I don't know if he's actually on any of the pencils. So I think the packaging was a little bit deceiving. <laughs> Dr. Seuss and I go way back. Back in the day when I used to do speech arts tournaments, um, I, we would do a lot of Dr. Seuss poems, Dr. Seuss and Shel Silverstein especially, we would do uh, perform their poems. And so, I don't know, so I guess it's just why it has a special place in my heart and I um, definitely plan on passing along my love of Dr. Seuss and, you know, Shel Silverstein onto my kids. Who knows, maybe they'll end up using these pencils because they're so cute. So here's the other collection. Oh my gosh, and then the cat in the hat, so cute. Okay, so anyway, if you're not as excited as I am about Dr. Seuss pencils, then don't worry because this next one might be a bit more universal. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited about these. Harry Potter bookmarks. Okay, so these are magnetic bookmarks. So I'm trying to show you, but my camera doesn't really want to focus up close. You, you can kind of see them. So the first one says, I solemnly swear that I am up to no good, which I actually have a mug that says that too, that I got at Universal Studios. I love that quote. Uh, the next one has a picture of Snape and it says always. This one says, it's Leviosa, not Leviosa. And then this last one says, mischief managed. So I love these, I am so excited about it. I wanna see, cause I actually haven't ever had these like magnetic ones. Ooh, ah! And then so the other package has little characters. Okay, so hold on, let me. So the other one has Harry, Hermione, Ron, and Draco. Little Draco looks like he's five years old. It's so cute. <laughs> His hair is all slicked back and everything. I love this. And they have their little scarves. Oh, these are so cute. I can't wait. So, oh, and, and also if you are interested in the bookmarks, I know that they have them at Target. So definitely check that out if you're looking for them. Thank you so much for watching. This video is so much fun and I can't wait to read and use all the things that I bought. So thanks again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.